welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Sun is coming up, vibe is going down, fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go, it's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. LT Outdoors, might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting, might even do a little fortune too, I'm talking. LT Outdoors, I hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today I got my buddy Josh and Leanna. Hi. They came up here today and uh, they, they drove quite a ways. It was how long? Hour and a half. Hour and a half drive to come hang out with me. So yep. <laughs> pretty cool. So I tried making it worth it the best I could. Um, they got into some morels. They got more more today than than well, I've got. Morels, but. Yeah, those ain't the morels. <laughs> but they forged some stuff. I made it worth their time. We got uh, into some fiddleheads, some ramps, and some morels. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you guys had fun. Cause oh, I had a blast. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I had a blast hanging out with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's a nice one. Fresh, too. That's a good sign. Yeah, it is. Yep. That means they're still coming up. All right. Darn right. It's all bent over. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, too. Darn right, man. <laughs> that's the first one I found all year, so okay. Yeah, that's good. I knew we'd get some because the other day we just barely skimmed it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Cool. I knew there had been some more around here. Oh Josh just found this really nice one there. That's a perfect. Yeah, buddy. That's a good one. Let's see if there's more. Yeah, Josh just found this one here too, guys. They're definitely growing. I was worried about that cold front we just had come in, but uh, as you can see, they're still out and about. That's a nice morel. Another good one there. Josh is on a roll. He found most of them today, I think. The eye today. Oh, yeah, that is a beauty. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Very nice. All right, guys. Got my first one of the day here. Nothing massive, but as you can see, like most of the ones that I've picked this year, it's popping right out of the right out of the stump of that poplar. All right, guys, got another little one here growing out of the stump, just like the last one. Again, on a popple. We love these trees. That's a beauty. Standing tall as can be. Yep. Darn right. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the heck, guys? You guys are killing me. <laughs> they all fry. They all fry. <laughs> Man, that'd be cool if you got into a pile of them, too. I don't like that is. Yep. That's not one of the blacks. That's a good size. Yep. Good size one. How many you got now in there? Pretty good amount. Got some other random stuff. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Sweet. Heck yeah. Flopping out of the leaves. Yep, darn right, man. Yeah, you are on the ball today. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a real nice one. Heck yeah. Alright guys, here's a good one. Definitely the biggest one for me this year. Yeah, real nice. Hey, Leanna's got one too. I'm just so happy that you guys are getting into them because I was worried you'd take that trip up here. Oh yeah. Very nice. Yep. I thought, man, if they drive all the way here, 
Holy cow. Oh, there's a big one to your to your left. <laughs> oh, another one to your left. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're in a big This is the best pot of them. Yeah, we better just stay on our knees and <laughs> Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Sticking out like a sore thumb there. Yeah, really makes you wonder. No way. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say maybe I did the other day. Oh yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, there's always a chance that somebody else has been back here. Yes, it does. Yeah, especially seeing this many. Yep, that's a good one, man. Yes, it is. Because it takes them a long time to mature, so. Yeah. I mean, for you, you want to take enough because you guys live a long way, so take enough to make it worth it. They last a while in the fridge, so you can make them for a few <laughs> meals. <laughs> and I'm going to get some too, so. Are they doing it right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually I use a little shovel, so right. <laughs> it's a little different. Taking the whole earth with them. Yeah. Earthworms and all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just loosen it up, and then you can should be able to start pulling them out once you loosen the dirt. Take a smell of that. Tell me that ain't the best. It is amazing. And that, I love onions. I'm liking garlic more lately. Yeah. I used to not like that much, but now I do. And that cooks, that, that cooks into everything. And I know this is so big. <laughs> yeah, that's a big bag. From Arkansas, too. I'm actually from Arkansas. I was born in Michigan oh, yeah. and raised in Arkansas. This is his bag. Oh, no kidding. Uh oh. Yeah, usually I just cut the, well, you see in the video, I just cut the little root off the bottom of it. Yeah. Robin's actually trying to plant them in her yard right now, the really? roots, just to see if it works. You ever know? Yeah, no. Cool. Yeah, it would be cool. All right, guys, I just want to show you here the ostrich ferns, also known as fiddleheads, are up and growing good. They are getting big. That is the perfect size right there. So, yep, get out and look for some because they are all over the place right now. This is the time of the year to get them. Yeah, I can see them growing everywhere. Yeah, there's a bunch here. You want to get them before they open out like this. Um, they've got toxins in them. And when they grow out like this, I guess they can become toxic. I guess they're just uh, not poisonous, but it, it causes stomach issues. But you pick them when they're small and young, and they are delicious. Oh yeah, look at that handful she's got. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's your first time trying it. I am so excited. Yeah, you are gonna absolutely love it. I'm sure I will. I, don't, I love my veggies and my mushrooms, so sure Oh yeah. Yep. This is gonna be great. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about them. And as you can see guys, you know they're picking right there. They they grow out of these big stalks. I mean there's four, five, six in a bundle. It's just awesome. They are. They're so easy. Way easier to find than morale, though. Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely fill up a freezer with these. Here's a big patch right here. Perfect size. Yep, you can grill these. You can saute them. I just love them in butter. That's I always cook them in butter.
Well, and as I, like I said, all these brown, all of it that you can see the entire way, that is all ostrich parts. All right, guys, just like the other day, here I am. I got my uh, cast iron skillet. I love this thing. It is so awesome. And uh, I'm just frying up some butter right now, letting that cook down. And then the stuff that we picked today, I took my friends out foraging, as you've seen, Leanna and Josh. I'm going to be frying up some ramps, and I am going to fry up some of these fiddleheads. Just going to saute these guys in butter. As you can see, i got a whole pile of fiddleheads here and some ramps. I just picked enough of the ramps that, you know, I don't want to overdo the ramps because it takes a while to grow, but got enough for dinner. Uh, grilling up some pork steaks right now, and I'm going to top it with these. So, yeah, very good. All right, guys, butter's going nice. I'm going to throw these ramps in there first, the leaves and all. I'm so glad I learned that because they are so delicious. And then I'm going to topple, cook all these fiddleheads right on top of there. It's all going to cook down nicely together. And uh, the fiddleheads are going to get that nice garlicky onion taste from the, from the ramps. It's going to be so tasty. very good and just so I'm careful not to scratch it for now because I don't have a plastic spatula or anything I'm gonna use my little spoon <laughs> yep I'm gonna cook up nice all right as you can see these are all sauteed up, sauteed up nice it didn't take long at all it really only takes a few minutes five minutes probably and these are all nice and tender fried right up you can barely see those ramps now. They're they're just nice and soft. The leaves cook up. But yeah, I'm gonna turn the heat off on this. And I'm gonna take the pan off of the heat. This cast iron holds heat for a bit. And I'm just gonna let these guys simmer while the uh, pork steaks cook for a little bit longer. Yeah, and then once they're done, I'll just pour these guys on the plate with them. Be one heck of a good dinner right there. All right guys, welcome to LT Outdoors. I just gotta show you here, I have an excellent forged meal right there. Um, the only thing not forged out of that is obviously the pork steaks. I didn't go out and kill me a pig. I wish I had wild boar around here that I could go out and get me those pork steaks, but I don't. So yeah, put all the rest of that. Fresh ramps, fresh fiddleheads, yeah, the rest of that, you guys watch me pick. The rest of that is legitly fresh pick. I didn't even put any salt on it this time. There's really no need to. The butter is all that's really needed with these ramps and fiddleheads. And it just cooks into everything. Plus the ramps got all their own flavor. The fiddleheads are kind of like a... They're almost like an asparagus, but honestly, I think they're better. I love asparagus, but these fiddleheads got their own sweet taste, so. They go good with any meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a foraging video. If you haven't already, make sure you get out there and pick some, because I know you're going to like it. LT Outdoors is brought to you by Widowmaker Lures. Quality tungsten jigs. Northland Fishing Tackle. Check them out online for a huge selection of lures. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. Heavy Metal Custom Lures. A great selection of plastics and more. Martiz Lures. Quality paint jobs that the fish desire. Cowboy Coffee Chew. A cup and a pinch. Crooked Bend. Quality food plot mixes. Drake Clothing Company. Quality outdoor clothing. And Shelly Shirt Shack, where all the LT Outdoors merchandise is made. Send him to Davy Jones' locker.